We write devices, mnemonic, so the professors won't think you're moronic. Learn Zimmer songs and you'll do us proud. Singing tunes while taking tests, but not out loud. Oh, Dr. Zimmer, I'm so excited! Christmas is coming and I'm breathing so fast. Mmm, rapid pulse? Uh-huh. Elevated blood pressure? Oh, yeah. Well, that's either Christmas fever or your sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system? Right. It's the part of your autonomic nervous system responsible for fight or flight. Like when you're faced with danger. The sympathetics stimulate functions like blood pressure, pulse, and breathing, while the parasympathetics inhibit them. The reverse is true for urine production and digestion. Parasympathetics stimulate and sympathetics inhibit. Together, these two battling branches make up the autonomic nervous system, which automatically controls involuntary functions in your body. Say, did you know there's an old German folk tale about this? Stay tuned after the song to find out about this story of betrayal. It'll leave you breathless. But up next, hop aboard for an autonomic nervous system sleigh ride. All you have to do is sing, sing with, with us, us now. now. To get your neurons tingling or cut their singling too. The autonomic nervous system does quite a service for you. Two branches fight to be on top, but they have to swap on cue. Cause what the sympathetics of parasympathetics undo. Biggest nerve, biggest nerve, biggest nerve is bad. And rest and digest. It sells you down so you have no stress. Start a three and a seven that makes sense so fine. Then a flow and a nine. These cranial nerves carry signals of a parasympathetic kind. Let sympathetics grab the reins, they don't come from your brain's true. From lateral points they run right through the nerves from T1 to L2. When sympathetics dial in, your heart gets a rhino boo boo. With epinephrine blowing by your blood, get your lungs going too. There's a happy feeling while parasympathetic. Takes play, they're big ganglionic fibers stretch out past halfway. Then the post ganglionics, which are short of mirror on the scene, to release their neurotransmitters supreme. A single choline, it'll be a party when the sympathetic explain. Shorter freeze and longer posts are a much better way. And so many choices stop her down inside that sympathetic chain. Or the collateral. Those three collateral. Ganglia collateral. The gluteal where the synapse is contained. Let sympathetics have a brain so you don't come from your brain through. From lateral horse they run right through the nerves from T1 to L2. When sympathetics dial in, your heart gets a bright boo boo. With that benefit flowing, fight or flight, get your lungs going too. Biggest nerve, biggest nerve, biggest nerve is best. And rest and digest. It settles you down so you're not stressed. Start at three and a seven, that makes ten so fine. And a three and a nine. These cranial nerves carry signals of a parasympathetic kind. To get your neurons tingling, which cut their signaling too. The autonomic nervous system does quite a service for you. Two branches fight to be at top, but they have to swap on cue. Cause what the sympathetics up Parasympathetic Parasympathetics Parasympathetic Parasympathetics Parasympathetics Undo Alright!
So what's the deal with the story, Dr. Simmerline? Oh, okay, so there was this water nymph named Ondine, and she fell in love with a mortal man called Sir Lawrence. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, but Sir Lawrence was like, Oh, Ondine, my every waking breath shall be a pledge of love and faithfulness to you. Aww. So Ondine had his child and lost her immortality. Guess what Sir Larry did when she started to get old? He didn't. Oh, yeah, he found himself a younger chickadee. But Ondine caught them, and she was all, You swore faithfulness to me with every waking breath. So be it. At wake you shall have your breath, but asleep it shall be taken from you. Larry tried to stay awake, but eventually he fell asleep and died. Autonomic karma! So that was Ondine's curse. Now they use that term for patients whose autonomic nervous systems can't initiate voluntary breathing. These folks have to think about every waking breath and can't go to sleep without a ventilator. How awful! Makes me glad I have an autonomic nervous system that works! So what's the moral to the story, Dr. Simmerline? Never date a water nymph. You'll, You'll end, end up, up all wet! wet.